All right, for this video, we're going to create a winter, I mean spring. Uh, and we're going to do that by first defining the dirt diameter of that spring. So I'm going to do that in the top plane. And we're going to just sketch. Yes. Uh, not that I know of. But if you run out of time, just start a new recording. Okay. Okay. And let's set the circle a dimension of 0.5. And let's just go ahead and fully define it by making it coincident to. Oh, shucks. Turn the dimension command off. We're going to make it concentric there. So I'm going to go ahead and call this sketch spring diameter because it is going to define the diameter of our spring. Once we're done, we're doing what we need to do next, which is create the helix that it's going to, um, that we need to make the spring. So that's this tool up here. It's called helix appropriately. So, and when you open helix, let's just, we're going to call this um, path for spring material. Um, you get this drop down menu and you get all these options here, right? I recommend after this video going back through editing the helix and experimenting with these options. We're going to go ahead and just play with turns and pitch. And if I'm, I'm just tilting the screen here so we can see what's going on. Now we want four revolutions, but the pitch, which is the distance between the revolutions, uh, we're going to go ahead and set to point 0.1. So it's more of a type of spring you would see more commonly. Uh, now, the, everything else is fine. Um, again, in the circular edge, basically that's the spring diameter, edge of spring diameter. And then rotating clockwise, four revolutions for the helical pitch of 0.1. Now, we're just going to check. We've got this helix here. Now, the next thing we want to do is see where the spring starts and ends and see which plane that that is. And then we're going to draw the circle. Then we're going to sweep it along the path that we just made. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead for clarity's sake, turn off the right plane. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn off the top plane. And what you can see is if we look right at it, we can see that start and end is right there uh, intersecting with the front plane. So I'm actually going to come over here to the front plane. Try not to make it too dizzy here. And what I'm going to do is, is Start a sketch in the front plane. And if I try and just go to circle, I won't be able to pinpoint either end. I could start from either end. And remember, we're sweeping a circle around this helix now to make the spring. But because I can't go from either end, what I'm going to, um, well, I can. But what I have to do is convert the entities of the sketch and use them. Now, it's, it's easier if I just show you that. I exited out of the sketch when, before anything was done. So what I'm going to do is click this button here. Now, remember when I had circle selected, I couldn't click that point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit U. Okay, what U does is this button right here which is called use or convert entities, project, I guess, in some softwares. Um, but what it does is selects geometry to protect, project it onto the active sketch plane. So now I can take my circle and I can pick, use that point as a point of reference. And I'm going to uh, dimension this circle out 2.05. So I can just get a small diameter wire size that will and I'm going to go ahead and just call this sketch spring material. And we're good to go. Okay, so now all we've got left to do is to sweep it. Now, which, what do we want to sweep? Got some frustration in the classroom today. 
we want to sweep the material. So we can select that. And then the path, and this is why we label these things, path for spring material. I could actually just click that. Open. Oh, that, that makes me want to go in and double click, to edit it. I'm sorry. So let's go back into sweep one. And then here, if I just select that, it gives us the spring. And I'm just going to call it spring. And then hit check. And then now we have a fully completed spring. Uh, again, I encourage you, once you're at this point, if you're in my class, call me over. Let's let me double check everything. But just for kicks and giggles and for learning's sake, double click here, adjust, you know, play around with these different settings. Um, as with anything, the more you kind of explore, the more you learn. Anyways, that's how to make a quick spring in Onshape. Finish my lock.